Hello friends, welcome to my channel Wagpay Media. This is Follow Me. And in today's tutorial, we're going to see how to add one transition and animation in order to make the video more appealing as well as give it a very uh, dynamic direction. So without any further ado, let me tell you which software I'm going to use today. I'm going to use Movavi software which is very user friendly and I regular basis use it and um, this is the kind of interface we, where we are going to uh, work today these are the timelines where we can this is for the first timeline is for the text the second one is for the video there is a tiny reel kind of uh, an icon out there so that indicates uh, that is a video timeline and down there there is an audio timeline so we can add any of these three timelines once more if we want or as many times as many as many layers we want from this tiny left hand side right. plus button so first awesome. and from the top uh, left hand side button uh, we will go and go to file import and we will go to add files and quickly i'll grab three files for the purpose of this video i'll go to this desktop and i'll take all these three files open it so these are the three videos the three clips we are going to modify first i'll have to drag it and drop it on the video timeline okay as because i have chosen all three together so it, it has come together so uh, same way uh, you'll have to drag all these tracks together you can remove the sound if you want uh, so uh, first what we will do is we will see how to add a beautiful transition now what is transition between these two uh, videos I'll just delete a part of it how to split it just keep the uh, the cursor line here and right click and split right once splitted you can just click it and this dotted border yellow border will appear and simply delete from the keyboard this is how you can uh, split and delete another way is keep the cursor line out here select the video track and then this scissor option is also for splitting so you can split and same way delete it right so once this is done we are going to add a transition between these two right now how is the video uh, uh, appears let me show you uh, let us see how is it appearing if So this is just like that coming right so I don't want that right so what I'll do is I'll, I'll add a beautiful transition in between two uh, for that I'll have to go from the top left uh, third third option is the transition option from the top so I'll go here I'll come here I'll go to all options so there I will get many different inbuilt transitions so I'll I can take any you can choose any of these for me, uh, for the purpose of this video, I'm taking this cube option. Just drag it and drop it. It's as simple as that. Once this is done, you can just play and see how is it looking. You see the difference? The transition will be in a linear way so that it distinctly distinguishes between two slides. So this is called transition. There are many other transitions you can try out. This is a cube. Um, there is a glitch transition. This also goes well when you are adding uh, some um, some introductory or ba uh, flashback or these kind of uh, kind of clips in your video vlogs. Uh, this glitch appears uh, really nice and dramatic. It gives it a different dimension altogether. I really love it and I at times use it. There are many other different kind of transitions out here. This is like a lens. You see how it appears. Look how beautifully it transits between these two clips. So this is how you can add and explore these part of the transition. And there are many such transitions. I personally love this one as well. I'll just show you. Uh, this one is the page turn one
Look how nicely it transits between, uh, it distinguishes between two uh, clips. So this is how you can actually use transition. Having said that, let's move to our next point, which is adding an animation. And what is the difference between transition and animation? Basically, transition is just a small tag or style by which you're just changing the clips you are just uh, going from one clip to another that is there is where transition comes in help but animation is when you're trying to highlight something if suppose i want the text to be appearing here right uh, i want everybody's attention to be on that text as soon as it appears suppose i want um a subscription button out here right if suppose I want this subscription button to be appeared here. So what I'll do is I'll just drag this subscription button to the timeline, text timeline, because this is a text and I can make it little larger and I can place it uh, the way I want. And then I can drag this time, uh, this um, end part of it like this till the time I want my button to stay appeared in this um in this uh, clip and then i can change its position simply dragging to the position from where i want this button to be appearing and once i'm satisfied with it then what i'll do is i will go to these four small uh, boxes this icon there i will get video editing option and audio editing option this is all tools option in that you will have to go to video editing option you can also see the uh, different um, type of video editing options which are available like color adjustment, crop and rotate, overlay, pan and zoom. I have made a, an in detail um, tutorial on all these points which link you'll be getting at the top right hand side corner of this video in info i button. So make sure you explore that and also you can if you're watching me in uh, facebook then you will be getting the same link somewhere around this video just check it for the purpose of this video i am concentrating on animation from here i can go to animation otherwise if i drop this if i come to this small uh, arrow i can get all the same options here so what i'll do i'll just go to animation and this will give me two options basically one is easy drag and drop option where i have some set type of an animation like uh, right word if i want my subscription button to move from right to left then i can use this one there are slide option it will simply slide by right there is such there are many inbuilt animations you can try out like if i try this uh, vortex in just check how does it look like uh, so if I don't want this then I just uh, right click on the key and I will remove the keyframe or remove all keyframes okay so this is how we can add animation now I will show you another type of animation zoom in which is again a very important animation according to me when you are uh, concerned about a text you see how does it look and then i will show you some other functionalities as well so i'll just drag this and drop it here that is it and then i will show you uh, let me uh, enlarge it now you see how is it looking so this is how it would be appearing right so this is zoom in now if i want one more keyframe to be added here these are the keyframes these are the uh, the frames we how you want your uh, subtitle your subscribe this button this text or whatever you are animating that object to appear slowly and comes on um, the on the frame main frame and stands it still right if i want one more keyframe then i will do i will have to click on the last keyframe like this and right click and uh, you will have to edit the keyframe 
and here you can change the options you can change the opacity you if you want this uh, icon to be little transparent then you can just reduce it because this op opacity by default will be 100 so you can reduce it so that it simply does not be so uh, vibrant and so prominent on the screen you can make it uh, reduced by opacity you can straighten it if you want it to be diagonally or in other directions then you can just change the angle and this is how you can basically add any style here now this is the easy way to add a uh, an animation right how about if i don't like any of these available readily available animations there are many such animations zoom in zoom out curl up curl down these are the different types of animation not necessarily you'll have to add it at the beginning you can even add it at the end like suppose if i add it at the end you see how does it look like uh, i will unpin the player and make it large and now i'll show you you getting my point so this is the way you can add an animation ready animation here right so i will just right click and remove all frames and then i will show you the advanced option what if i don't like any of these ready animations and i want to make my own animation i will simply go to advanced option and go to add animation it will automatically give you two keyframes right now you will just click on the first keyframe and position it the way you want suppose i want it to be zooming in so I will position it in a, in a in this way. I will make it small and I will position it in the middle. I will have to check this green uh, green uh, grids which will give, you, give me an indication that I am at the center of this uh, entire frame. Uh, and uh, once it is done, I will go to my next keyframe. Then I will make it a little longer, little bigger, right? I will, I will make it a little bigger, okay? So it is little uh, forward now and then i can right click right here and i can right click and i can go to animation and i will add another keyframe right now i will position the keyframe and then again click it and then i will make it even long larger even more larger if i want to okay and position it here if i'm happy with it then i'm ready to see how it is finally looking like let us unpin the player so remember one thing the last keyframe in the last keyframe whatever would be the position that will sustain till the end of this clip or this um this entire text or whatever is the element you're animating uh, till the last moment the last keyframes position it will hold right so if you want the further animation or um, something to give another wave to this then you can come to that till, to the end of it and you can simply uh, drag something like this and position it here and then just check how is it looking I'll show you once again what I did I animated the first part on my own and then at the at the end I just dragged the simple zoom out animation which was ready here readily available here right so you can actually play around and you can make your own animated effect in your video to make your video look more linear uh, more attractive and engaging I thank you so very much once again if you are new visitor to my channel i would be strongly uh, encourage you to consider to press the subscription button below and press the bell notification having said that thank you so very much for staying here with me i'll come back with some fun tutorial next week till then stay safe
टेलेग्राम